I'm going to attempt to demonstrate the use of an art masking fluid. The one that I'm going to use today is a watercolor um, art masking fluid made by Winsor & Newton. I find that it's best to apply the, the, the uh, mask with a paintbrush that you probably wouldn't want to use for anything else. Um, I think I'll use this one. I have a cup of water here and I'm going to add a little bit of dish soap to it. I dip my brush in the water with this uh, dish soap in it because it puts a protective layer over the bristles so that when I use my uh, mask I can actually protect the bristles from being ruined by the frisket. First mask that I want to put down is on top of some color that I had previously put down. I want to see what happens. Then I also want to try it On plain white. And then I can wash the brush in the water with the dish soap and I'd be able to use this brush again. Alright, I'm going to let that dry. I'm using a pretty small brush here. I just grabbed one of the brushes that I brought out as a choice for uh, doing the mask. Let this one dry. A good idea for cleaning and maintaining your paint brushes, whether it's 
a dollar paintbrush or an eighty dollar paintbrush or more uh, I recommend that you never set your paintbrush down in uh, a cup or bowl of water and just let it rest on the bottom I usually don't even put my brush into the water beyond the metal and I never want to damage the bristles by rubbing them um, let's say you know I always go in this direction to be respectful of the bristles and it'll certainly make them last a lot longer you never want to go the other direction and the same with cleaning them I um, try to clean the brush the same way as um, paint on paper my brush my brushes um, that I have at this time are the brushes that I bought when I first started watercolor granted I've added to it I have a lot more brushes now but I still have the ones that I bought 20 at least 20 years ago when I began doing watercolor as the years have gone by I've discovered um, things that I expect of a brush and the different ways that I'm painting if I'm doing a, a large painting or a small painting if I'm doing a lot of wet where I have a large area to cover um, I'll use one kind of brush if I'm just doing a little area I'll use another so I have increased the number of brushes I have to meet all those situations but overall I would have to say that the brush that I use the most is this um, Kalinsky Sable. I think I paid about $75 for this particular brush. The thing that I use to remove the frisket is this. Um, I purchased it from a framing supplier but I'm sure that you can pick one up at any art supply store. Just rub it on the frisket and off it goes. Now on this one I had color underneath so you can see it doesn't bring us back to the white paper. On this one, we did have the white, just the white paper. You don't have to have a special tool to get the frisket off. I just happened to have stumbled across this when I was ordering supplies for doing my matting and framing and I thought I'd give it a try and it works very very well. So there you can see in the first one um, a little bit of the blue there is underneath so you can put frisket over top of another color in this one it was just the frisket on the white and now I'm going to show you a couple of paintings that I did where I depended on frisket quite a bit I don't ordinarily do anything like a frisket or a mask I usually just leave the white of the paper white but there have been some paintings where that was just impossible I did a flowered pattern on the scarf of this woman and it just worked a whole lot better <laughs> tremendously better to use the masking fluid um, and also to do the hairs in this soldier um, I laid it out with masking fluid did the entire uh, you know the area around it uh, and then remove the, f the masking fluid. I don't recommend putting masking fluid on your paper and leaving it for an extended long period of time. Um, once I lay it down, I try to paint that area and remove it as promptly as I can. The longer that the masking fluid sits on the paper, 
the more difficult it will be to get it off. And I've actually ruined a painting by trying to remove the frisket and it took uh, the paper with it. So just a word of warning.